Okay, hey everybody. Greetings and welcome back. Uh, I am Vortrax. This is Kingdom Dungeon and Hero. And um, let's continue our campaign in progress. So, since the last time we played, there has been another beta update. We're up to update 90. And uh, criticals are fixed. Yay! <laughs> criticals are fixed, finally. Um, they are now working properly and they've been set to a one in 15 chance. Just a flat one out of 15, uh, attacks is going to be a critical hit. Um, so we're going to have to be a little cautious when we go back into the dungeon to, uh, make sure we are, or, you know, or we change up things that we slow down a bit. Um, we've been pretty safe because the critical is not working and we can never take more than three damage at a time. Um, that's no longer the case, so we could get some bursts that um, might be problematic. So it'll slow us down a bit. Uh, we're also going to get outgoing criticals to speed up our killing of monsters. So, you know, it's a bit of a wash in that regard. Um, I don't know if it'll be a net speed up or slow down. It's going to depend on the power level of the characters against the monsters and such. Um, when we go into the, like the large dungeons, we'll have to be more cautious because it's higher level enemies on average, so bigger chance that they'll be able to critical us. Uh, I think our primary group probably won't have much problem still. They're pretty high end for the uh, the medium dungeons. Um, yeah, I mean, these guys are just hitting level eight now. Uh, so I doubt they'll have an issue, but the lower level group we want to be cautious with. Okay, so where do we leave off? So here we are, we are brighter kind. We are currently trying to polish off Morator. Uh, we've just got a little tiny bit left to do and we'll have it complete. Um, yeah, so the little bit we have yet to do is we've got to finish this guy off and we've got to finish this guy off. That's it. That's it. That's all we got to do. Uh, timing's a little rough on this one because I can't get out in front of him to keep him from taking Lake Ridge. This unit will have to come over and hit him for as much damage as they can do. I doubt they're going to finish him. Um, I don't have any cavalry in this group, so they're probably not going to be able to kill him. Uh, but they'll do a little bit more damage, and we'll just keep following him and whittling him down. He'll probably get into Lake Ridge, and then we'll follow up and push him back out again. Um, and then we're going to have that group just continue up north to take this over, and then we're done. Then Mortor will be out. So, I think for this turn, what we're probably going to do is bring this unit north to hit them. And I think we'll be able to annihilate that group. I think that group will just get destroyed. We'll have that group come over and attack, and we'll see the results of that, and then make further decision. But by moving and then attacking, we'll probably be out of movement points. Um, so depending on kind of where he goes and what he does next turn, we'll decide further. Interplay between these two. These guys backed off. So it uh, looks like they were moving up earlier, but now they've mostly backed off. I don't know if he's intending to try to hit here. I'm okay with it if he does. Um, so we're at war with these guys, Aura Clang. And uh, Torstuff has been kind of waffling back and forth with declaring war and then peace. Uh, I think currently we're at peace with them, but I think they started insulting me again, which is a prelude to them declaring war again. Um, it says their land forces are very weak compared to ours, and I've got a lot of I got a lot of units over there for him to look at. So I don't know what he's going to do, but he just finished off this guy, and he's got a lot of units in the area on our border. So yeah, that'll probably occupy my two army groups. I may not get to chase this guy down, which will be really annoying. But I got another two groups here to kind of stall these guys off until I finish off Morator. But that's the plan. I need to polish off Morator, uh, get that all settled. And then turn my attention to one of these two. I'd rather not fight both of them at once, but we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, somebody else? Uh, all right, let me go look. Who uh, Who? Who else? Brighter kind. Uh, that's all the wars. Uh There's no listing on here that somebody's at war with me.
We got the Pirate Raiders. Yeah, I, I don't. Who? who? Oh, Yanadi. Yanadi. All right. Yeah, Yanadi. You know, another border. <laughs> I'm not as worried about Yanadi because, uh, well, I mean, I want to take this before I have to deal with Yanadi, but they're busy with other things. So they're currently getting invaded by uh, the Thole Barony, it looks like. Do, 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 do. Hey there, Yanadi. Yeah, I mean, they're they're at war with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> so pretty much everybody around them there for some reason at war with. I don't think they have much strength to really worry about. I, I'd be a little concerned if he had moved down into like Almara with the Olamra with a large group. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So not going to change anything in the next three or four turns at least. So we'll, we'll deal with it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I don't have any other units other than we got another armored knights. So we're going to rush over to that front and, uh, I got no other recruits. Uh, we do have some more recruits. I'm forming up my second army group, which is going into this group here. We're going to pull out the militia to cover locations and then fill this group out with the, uh, the knight and a few other units we've got on the way. I need to just keep building up. So yeah, let's do this thing. Do the army man stuff first. So first thing, let's go smash this group. Complete elimination. Then we will step over here. Yeah, not good enough. So we're going to have to keep chasing him down. I need to chase him down with that group. I need to leave this group here and then have this group chase him down. So that's what's going to happen. So he might get out ahead of me far enough. Um, and he's still strong enough. I don't think he's strong enough to actually push me out of a location, but if he runs all the way to here, that would annoy me a bit more so than if he goes here, but we'll see what happens. And you guys go ahead and step on there just to make sure they stay under control. I'm going to leave him at uh, black rock castle. I got no movement left here. Uh, let's bring the night over as far as we can. And we're not moving here. I'm just going to keep holding my two locations and see what he does. What are our force comparisons with that guy? You, or a clang, uh, very weak compared to ours. So yeah, we'll see if he's brave enough to try to actually start fighting. So far, he's just posturing. Uh, off to the dungeons, and then I'll check my my nation stuff, and uh, we'll process the turn. All right, guys, so that's my big group. We are partially through this dungeon, and we have to, to go a little slower until I make sure that the uh, the criticals aren't going to be crushing me. So let's go this way. First thing we do is get hit by brambles. Okay. Yeah, it's a decent-sized fight. Those are champions, some, a fighter, a blob, a couple of blobs. All right, um, same as always, you block and let everybody else fight. No criticals that round, fight again. Uh, let's go ahead and get the druid healing. I think he adjusted the mix of enemies, too. I'm not sure how much this dungeon will affect that, but I think he's adjusted the mix. We also... I had a problem. I was doing some testing off-camera uh, to report stuff, and um, I had a dungeon. I went into it. I think it was a larger and extreme dungeon, and I ended up having 12 enemies, and the little boxes go off the bottom of that section. So that got fixed. Should only be 10 enemies max in any particular fight. Uh, keep healing, dude. Still no crits. We're looking for any number above three. <laughs> Anything above three. Oh, there we go. That's a full, that's a max crit. Sliff. Hit the mess festering blob for six. And here's our first critical. So standard damage is one to three. And a critical hit will double damage. So you wouldn't notice a one point crit because it would just list as two. Um, but a two point crit would show his four damage and a three point crit would show his six damage. So four and sixes are what we're looking for in order to identify when criticals are happening. 
Um, yeah, a lot of uh, low-level guys here. Let's uh, let's finish some fools off. Okay. Ooh. That's a much tougher one. We got a Hulk and multiple champions. Ouch. Alright, this one we want to be really cautious about. I think I'm going to take any chances here. Let's get to healing early and often. They bashed Quint. left. We still got enough. Really? Dead end split passage, huh? Youch. Way down to six, huh? Is a max damage. Time to camp. Refresh our enchantments or our uh, hit point heals. Uh, let's go back north. I want to finish off this north direction first. Another Hulk champion combo. Neither, Banksy. Is it good? Um, yes. Within, you know, reasonable expectations. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's good. It's entertaining. Depends on what kind of game you're looking for. It's trying to thread the needle of interesting but accessible. By which I mean it's not stupendously detailed and deep and complicated. It's trying to 
kind of make a more accessible fantasy kingdom war game with some light RPG uh, dungeon delving aspects. So um, none of each particular part goes into insane, complicated, uh, layered mechanics and all that kind of stuff. But um, it doesn't need to. Not all games have to be super deep and complicated. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Currently, we are just uh, smashing through some low-level dungeons. I need to get this group over into uh, next level, the high-level dungeon. Uh, back to the typical. Emmerich is doing the uh, block taunt. Everybody else is going to attack on round one. And then we will switch you back to healing. And switch everybody else over to... Slay? I'm not sure why you would not just go straight to the slay mode. Make sure you're hitting the lowest hit point enemies to uh, get them out of the queue. Because whether they have 1 hit point or 15 hit points, they hit you the same level. So it's very important to uh, kill the weak. Kill the ones that are wounded. And if there are no wounded, it auto-switches back anyway, so... Um, yep, keep doing what we're doing. Champion is down. So far, no real close calls. I haven't seen too much difference. If anything, I think we're moving faster because we're getting max damage and or critting more often than we're getting hit with crits. Okay, 54 hit point remain. A um, little bit more golden shards. Whoa, this place is big. I sure like the lizard hulks and champions in this one. Uh oh. My wizard. Eh, right, Cleric, you need to get involved in the healing when you get caught up here. Well, you're not getting nearly as many hits all of a sudden. Lizard Champion got a crit on Emmerich. Might get one more fight in after this. Hopefully it's a uh, small to medium sized one, not one of these big ones with lots of hulks and champions. Sliff, up to level eight. Hey there, Sliff. That's what, two at level eight now? Be a while for him and him. Not too far off for Tarmf. So. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and search. Nothing found. Out of searches. Okay. That is uh, three champions. Damn.
Definitely done after this fight. Darmf got his level. Good job. All right, so uh, that's it. We're down to seven hit points of healing left for the group. 47 spawns to go. Probably two more trips. What are we getting? 8, 16, 20, yeah, at least two more trips, probably. Possibly a third, depending on what kind of mix we get or how our luck goes. We are out of here. And the B team, only level three and five, heading into this low. I got to decide. Let's see. Let me look at something. What is in our vault? We've got Conviction 3. I need Cleverness and Intelligence. Do we have any Cleverness Intelligence boosters? One Intelligence. And two Cleverness. I'm not sure what slots they go into. All right. Um, we are one slot available. Who we got? Who we got on the list? Adept warrior, warrior. Ooh, an administrator. Forty gold for that dude. Wow. Uh, we're gonna recruit him. And the Pena and the Pari. Gonna send you to actually where am I gonna send you? Uh I don't remember, do I have Yeah, I have no leader here. Why are you not going to Hex? That must be you. You're both a... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's the new guy. Uh, I'm looking for something else. My bad. That's right. You're, uh, you're governing our mine. All right. Um... Hey there, Vance. Grab this cleverness. Well, actually, no, for him, I don't need that. Don't need it for an administrator. I want to save that for a combat leader. All right, let's uh, send Vance up north. He's heading up to Chimera. He's going to go administer the city up here, get a gold bonus. They generate 29 gold at the capital there, so he'll increase the gold generation. Uh, then I'm going to be moving one of these guys out to be a leader of one of our, our uh, war bands. Um, means I'm going to need another leader. We're capped at 17 currently. So we'll need to put another guild up to do that. But that's the plan. I'm just going to use this group to uh, level up Adventurer or wizard types to uh, then go lead my, my warrior groups. So leadership 14 already with no items. So give him a plus one item for either int or cleverness and he'll be capped at leadership 15. He's a little further away. So for now though, let's go ahead and head into the dungeon. Oh, 1%. Nobody died. All right, so kill an infinite a lock, gain levels. They've got a three-turn recovery. They're unscathed. They're basically going to go uh, hit the bars to uh, rest and heal for three turns. Then they'll be available again. And we got a prince ring and another gold sword. Okay. Oh, we changed that too.
I don't remember the patch notes mentioning that, but now apparently they go to the nearest location to uh, take their rest and relaxation. Previously, they used to kind of disappear <laughs> from the map, and you'd only know from this screen. Actually, they don't even show up on this screen anymore. Maybe, I think next turn they'll show the, um, the, the beer stein indicator that they're resting for the turns. All right, we're all done with that stuff. So Dungeoneering is complete. Uh, we're on the move. We're hoping to finish this conquering. What else we got going on? 130 food. We're up to 195 storage. It is middle of summer. I think it's middle of summer. Um, excuse me, are you telling me I'm going to grow 141 food? Because that's, that's not right. <laughs> Something's broken there. Hmm. We'll check it again next turn and see what happens, but that's that's not right. Let's uh, sell a little bit of food. Yeah, there's no way we're going to make that much. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on there. See. I need to stockpile this. I need to stop selling it. But I'm trying to buy up stone and iron. Ooh, we got the cheap iron again. I am going to bankrupt myself for cheap iron. Wow, who put this much iron on the market? I better stop there. Much as I want to keep buying, it finally went up. So the surplus is finally gone. Somebody's selling a load of iron. So that's awesome for us. Now I just need to get my cash reserves back up. Get some stone and some more horses and we keep building military units. <clears throat> All right, so we're done with that. Um, so I need to start getting nullifiers up. 240 shards, which we finally have enough. So I got to start thinking about that. This is to um, reduce the curse effect. Right now we're up to negative two per turn stability because of the corruption curse. Blanketing the land. So we got to start countering that somehow. While, you know, building all the other things we need. I'm going to hold off on doing any more of that this turn, though. No alchemists. Uh, we are not real close to any of these. Um, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> that can't be right. I mean, maybe. We did, we did just gain a whole lot of Morator. Just switch to my, my full control. That's probably what's happening is we've got basically another large kingdom that just hit my control. So I bet you that number is right. And we're going to have an insane amount of food rotting. Just an insane amount of food rotting. I better sell some more food. We got a hundred stockpiled and we may get another 140 more, which is like, oof. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. We'll go down to 70. Through it, we're down to 60. All right, I have to get used to uh, controlling almost all of Mora War. We've added Terrawin to our, our nation, our kingdom, and now we've added 90% of Morator, which is this little tiny piece up here, not currently under our control. So, we still have to take that in order to fully cement everything we're getting. Uh, Ooh, we're getting a lot of descent. I got to finish this fight. I need to get a unit sent over here. I think I'm going to pull somebody off the border to try to go sit on some of these until we get the descent back under control. I didn't watch that one. Or sword break, I mean. Yeah, until we conquer that, we won't have it all officially join our nation. There'll be constant uh, dissent and rebellions. I got to finish that guy. All right, uh, I think we're all set. <laughs> Weather is good. Supply is good, mostly. Yeah. All right, let's process the turn and see what happens. 
Shadow Empire level complexity? No, not even close. Okay, production is 100% due to stability. Production modified by 20% due to corruption. 130 food produced with 115 required. So, all right. I guess that's what I forgot to account for was the uh, consumption has also gone up substantially. So I shouldn't have sold quite so much food, but we'll just hold off selling any for the next month or two. Get us stabilized. Um, nobody outside the supply chain. We lost an alchemist due to an accident. No governor changes. Torsif is uh, is going to instigate again, so he's going to declare war again. We still have the plague. Lots of research and unruly and trade reports. All right. So what did he do? Where did he go? He kept running. He kept running, did he? All right. Uh, well, you're doing that. You. I would like to ignore this guy and just go take this. Hey, now. See, now I'm annoyed. <laughs> now I am annoyed. Yeah, I got to get this done. You go there, you leave a militia behind, and unfortunately, I can't catch this guy. I can keep chasing him, and he's going to be a problem if all he does is run into my backfield and take, ter take, take locations from me, because I can never catch him. Uh, so, we'll see what he does. I got to go here. You go into there. And this group is going to have to take a turn to get up here, then a turn to fight at least, then another turn to get up here and fight at least. Meanwhile, this guy is going to run around in my backfield and be an asshole. I think we need to divert. Get you up there. Get you moving this way. Get you moving this way. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's the hero who was supposed to be going over there. Ah, uh, oopsie. Okay. He's just sitting tight down here, keeping my two armies pinned, which I don't enjoy. Yeah. I need to have him just stop moving. <laughs> if he just keeps chasing into my backfield, it's going to be really annoying. But I can't keep up with him with just this cav unit. And I think he has one other thing, but he has no supply. So he's starving to death. So his strength is going down each turn. He's getting weaker and weaker because he can't supply. So if I can just keep the locations covered, he'll eventually go away just from uh, starvation. So, we're going to play that game. We're going to try to keep the locations covered. I'll have one pursuit group with the cavalry added in to uh, finish him off if we can pin him down somewhere. And otherwise, I'll have my main army group come up and finish the, finish the war up here. Hopefully before Torsif declares and starts coming across the border. Because i got nobody out over there right now. I need to finish this as soon as possible. So, we are done with army man movements. Not moving those guys. Not doing that. Hey, recruits. Uh, here and here. Next turn, we'll send them up north as well. The idea is they're going to meet up with this group. So those three will join these th three. And <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, what else? So, economy, can't sell that. Try not to sell that. We got a bunch of iron stockpiled, which will go away immediately as soon as I try to build some units. I do have enough. Uh, oof, we're not gaining cash nearly fast enough. Let's see. How much do I have in this capital? Oop, we maxed it out already. How about up here? One slot and one slot. Hmm. Already got guilds in both. Yeah, guilds spawned out all over the place, taking up valuable slots. Very few places left where I can put stuff. Uh, you. I don't really care what I put in that second slot. So, let's go with one more guild. And uh, also upgrade the market. Nah, no, my go. How about you? Market one currently. All right. That's it for districts. Research. We lost an alchemist. Um, another adventurer. Yep. I know there's lots of descent all over the place. All right, only one group to deal with this time. Back in we go. So many champions. Ouch. Four point crit landed. Next, another Hulk. Emmerich took a six point crit. Stop it. trap this one's fairly easy comparatively mm. 
Not sure if we're going to have enough healing to go another fight after this one, though. Unless we get pretty clean kills after this. One below 20 makes me nervous. And I'm not sure if we've hit the uh, the boss fight for this dungeon. Eighteen. Um. <laughs> Two hulks. <laughs> Two eleven point hulks. Okay. No resistance though. Let's try spell binding. Spell binding. We'll try to hit him with some magic uh, stuns. Or we'll just, you know. Smash them. <laughs> Six damage, three damage. That works also. All right, fine. Let's not worry about uh, stunning. Let's just chop them down. Ah, that went pretty well. 17 left, though. I think I'm going to camp. Don't want to take any chances. Which blocker? The 19. <sighs> These things just don't land often enough. I keep trying them and I keep being disappointed by them and just go back to doing damage. Killing stuff faster is just so much more efficient than failing stuns repeatedly. Still no stuns. Still no stuns. <laughs> All right. What I need to do is pay more close attention to how often they're hitting with their magic attacks. Because if they're not hitting with their magic attacks either, then it's not a fair comparison to complain about the stuns not landing. So it's just more obvious when the stuns don't land than when they miss their attacks consistently. Because I have to go look in this combat log and check each one of them, Eagor and Tarmf, to see when they are and aren't hitting. So Tarmf hit really good there, but Eador missed. It or miss. Uh, we were stunning back here, so well, you get the idea. I'm still not 100% sure just how often they're hitting. They both hit that time. Harm hit for good damage.
Tarmph got a super crit, and Iagor also got a hit. So it just feels to me like the stuns just don't happen often enough. And these are enemies that have zero, mostly zero resistance. So, I mean, this is the best chance possible. So I don't, I don't feel the value. It's a balance thing. Just like I don't feel the value for having an adventurer in a party, having double cleric which in this case is my druid and the cleric, having double healer versus healer adventurer. I just don't think the adventurer is worth enough. Having the double healers and having a huge pool of hit points available is so much more powerful, and the utility is, is constant. Every single fight, you're, you're getting a benefit out of this. Whereas with the adventurer, maybe you hit a trap every once in a while, but the extra heal points you're getting from the second healer covers that damage anyway and gives utility beyond that in every single combat. So, I have an issue with balancing of these things. Um, I'll always currently, with the current system and the way things work, I'll always run double healer over putting an adventurer in the group. And I am leaning way far away from bothering to try to stun anything. I just don't think it's valuable enough. If it either stunned longer or hit more often, I'd be more enthused about it, but I just constantly, constantly failing to stun. Hmm. Down to 12. 39. We might actually finish it this round. All right, where have we not been? Done up here. Gonna be four and eight. The battle iguanas are back. Three from Igor, three from Tarmph. Last fight. Pretty big one. We should have plenty of healing, though. And it's half of them is the Battle Iguanas, almost. One Hulk, one champion. So, other than the numbers, which will hopefully pare down quickly by killing the Stalkers, not much danger here, either. Bashing my warrior. Oof, crushed it that last few rounds. Just crushed him. All right, victory. Dungeon is complete. Time to send this group to the big leagues. Going to the large, or the, yeah, the large dungeons. This will be the last medium these guys go into. I think. <laughs> we might have to backtrack and do another medium. Uh, but for now, time to move on. And we'll see how nasty the, uh, the large enemies are. Search. A little bit more gold. We got one more search option. How about the Chamber of Sorcery? A little more gold and shards. All right, we're out of searches. We're done. All right, so we got a few more turns for that group's going to show up. They're now listing here as recovering from their adventure. Uh, so these guys are going to come up to the large. No, the high. <laughs> that's that's another low. That's the low. Um, I can't I can't see it because the the names. 
Uh, I can't remember if I can. I don't think I can turn that name off. I, I think that's a low. It looks like an L to me. So yeah, they're heading to the high. Uh, I think we're done. Other than that. I also need to, uh, when these guys come out of this, this dungeon here, I got to make a decision. I got to, um, well, if for our next war, our next major war, whoever we go after, I want to send that medium group out to help with the war effort because adventurers can go incite rebellions in enemy towns and try to find and kill enemy heroes and do various things. I need to, I haven't used any of the heroes for that kind of a function. I need to go test that kind of stuff, see if I find it useful or not. Four healers and two warriors. Uh, the problem with that would be the possibility of hitting a dungeon that's full of um, tough monsters that are immune to melee, but are weak to magic. So in those dungeons, your magic users would shine because the enemies would have high physical resistances and percentages of re damage reduction from toughness and such, but your mages would be hitting them for full strength. So there are counters to that kind of a, an idea of just loading up on healers and uh, warrior types, but um, I can't find a reason to, to, to care about the adventurers enough currently. They've, they've been adjusted slightly upwards with the thorough trait to get more, more money and uh, their sneak trait giving increased critical hit. I don't know if it's critical hit chances or critical hit damage or how exactly the upgrade works, but I still don't think they're useful enough to compare to having an entire second pool of hit point healing. Even if the second healer never actually heals, if he just does combat all day long, he's still contributing to the party heal pool um, his full amount. So you load him up with the conviction items and you, you've got a, a team with 65 healing like I've got this group with. Um, so it, there's just really no downside I can see to that. It so heavily compensates. And then if you do get into a situation where you have a really bad roll uh, in a turn and a whole bunch of critical hit damage splashes across your entire team, or you hit a nasty trap when you walk into a room and have a combat encounter at the same time, you flip on that second healer and they get the party back up to uh, full strength very quickly. Um, which option you would not have with the, uh, the adventurer who might or might not actually discover the trap before it goes off. So, I mean, if the adventurers guaranteed detection of traps, maybe I would lean a little more their direction, but it's not guaranteed. I don't know how the role is done in regards to that, what stats it compares against or, or whatever, but a good percentage of the time, they're not going to find and disarm the trap. and The party's going to get hit anyway. So because of this kind of combination of circumstances, I just find double, double healer just way more useful. And uh, you're able to cruise through the dungeons way faster. Or traps get more deadly. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're just, it's a balance thing. So... Maybe a combination. I'd kind of prefer it at the moment if traps did more damage, but the adventurers had a much higher chance of disarming them. So do both things to bring the uh, the adventurers up to more parity with the uh, the healers. But who knows? Uh, yep. Yeah. Intern. Well, that's why we're playing and we're fee giving feedback to the developer. Aminon, you are so bad. <laughs> Still hasn't taken card here. <laughs> the Eternal War. See that guy that moved into my city of the north stepped his units one space out of the town. That's... That's a puzzling move. Why, AI? Why? <laughs> Why do that? All right. 100%. 97 food. Whoops. Well, that's not good. Now we actually have a food problem. 
Winter effects. We are not going to produce anywhere near enough to feed everybody. Man, the, the numbers get so, so swingy. Now I have, uh, I've, I've got a problem because <laughs> now I'm going to be way underproducing food going into winter time. But I've got so much food in the summertime that I have to sell tons of it. Very swingy. Being that it's percentage based as the numbers get bigger, the, the gaps get much wider. Um, all right, uh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to buy food. I hadn't considered that. And Torsif has declared war again. <laughs> war. Oh, wait, wait, no peace. Oh, wait, wait, change my mind. Let's go back to war. Uh, so yeah, that's these guys. So now I've got these guys at war with me. I got these guys at war with me. I've got these guys at war with me and I'm still trying to finish off. Uh, Morator, and great. Now he carved this section off after taking that. This is what I was questioning. He he moved out. I'm not sure why. That didn't get to move. I'm not sure if that's a choice or if that's a he just can't move because he's so starved out. So I think we might be able to finish him now. He's got no morale left. Very weak. So hopefully we can uh, we can finish him. You can attack him. So that's good. We won't be able to get to that unless I move him up there, which I might do, depending on how this fight goes. Let's do this first. We need to get this done before winter hits. All right, completely eliminated. Me likey. So you go to there. That means next turn, I... Th ah, wait, this is desert. I'm not sure how fast I can move through this. Hopefully next turn we can hit this and finish the, uh, the war. Um, let's do this fight first, and then I may move him up to there. If he can make it. Yeah, he can. Oh my god, still not strong enough. Ooh, descent's up to eight. Alright, get you moving back the direction you were supposed to go. Get you guys moving north before the winter storms hit and I can't move. Um, so. Hmm. <laughs> I just can't do any damage. Oh, now it says he's got two morale? How does he have two morale? How? <laughs> he's been starving. His entire nation has been taken over. He's at one, two, two, and three strength. He can't get supply anywhere, but he's, he's still got good morale. And this group doesn't have the cab. I need to get these two groups in the same damn space and then attack him. Or just keep doing what I've been doing, installing him. Hopefully he can't get to here. That'll really annoy me. Um, He could get to here if I leave this space, though. So let's... Let's move you guys into there, just to guarantee we grab it and hold it. And, um, yeah, we'll hope next turn he either stays put or doesn't hop onto a location. I finish this off, and then during the turn sequencing, the war should be over. What the hell? Did I lose control of this? Doesn't say so. Huh, wonder why the control flips back. That's weird. All right. I don't think he'll have much luck getting past us in any direction or taking over anything. So we should be able to finish that off, but I've got to finish that. <laughs> it's winter time and uh descent is going to start being a problem. All right, done, done. These guys are just going to keep on hanging out here. Are you? I'm so tempted to just send one unit over to stand on this because he's not.
Problem is, nobody can make it over there. Nah, let's just leave it alone. As long as he wants to stalemate right there. But now I have to think about uncovering this and sending these guys up north. So I can get this sorted and bring these two groups back over. I'm not so concerned about this as long as I can keep a militia or two up here to keep them from taking easy victories. Hey there, men-at-arms. Get out here. Still not real close to anything. I am going to need to sell stuff to buy gold to buy food. Well, I can sell iron at a profit. Oh boy. Food is expensive. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. We're about to hit a big problem during this winter. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I screwed up. I shouldn't have sold that huge pile I did the previous time. I made a big mistake there. Forgot to account for consumption. I thought the number was big, but I was comparing the total production to what I remembered of surplus previously. I didn't account for the consumption, so I oversold by quite a bit, and now we're going to have a big problem. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. See how many of our soldiers... I don't, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen when we don't have the food. I think the units in the field are going to suffer, and um, I don't think population can go down or up. That, that appears fixed, and so I think it's just production that's going to get hammered and units in the field. So, yeah, it's going to be bad. Okay, um, so what do we got left? Not moving any of that. I guess we head up to the hard dungeon here with this group. Tempt to go straight to the extreme, but we better not. Okay. What to do, what to do. Can't build more units. That's going to be more mouths to feed, more, more upkeep. <clears throat> I think we just process the turn and see what happens. Yeah, this is going to be bad. And they continue to just bleed on that city. I don't know what about that city is so tough. They reduced the fortification levels ages ago, and they just still continue to not be able to take it. Maybe it's a warning to me to not attempt to take it myself at some point in the future. All right, uh, what do we got? 99 produced, 31 surplus, so we did drop. Um, so we are, what, 120? We're about 20 off, so I need to buy 20 food, 30 preferably, in order to stave off uh, the really bad stuff. We also have plague going on in a lot of our, our areas, so that's reducing our production until it fades out. And uh, a lot of rebels, so I desperately need to finish this. Oh, this does not help. <laughs> he went north. This does not help. I can't get there this turn. Damn it. Ugh. Uh, what to do? Moved one unit back and one unit forward, huh?
Why did it have to snow in the desert? <laughs> Got snow on the outer edges of the desert anyway. Well, we gotta go there. Gotta wait till next turn to take it. And it's got a five fortification level, <clears throat> which is not fun. All right, what about this guy? Get one attack on him with the combined group, but I need to get somebody up here. Oh, you need to go there. You need to go there. Still can't hurt this guy. Oh, it is so weird. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Five times the raw strength. I've got uh, supply and morale and full strength units, and he's got the dregs. I mean, he's got no terrain bonuses. He's got he's got nothing going for him. But I can't I can't hurt this thing. I don't understand the combat calc that allows this. How is this possible? Ugh. I mean, what the hell would I need to do? I can't arrange a better circumstance. Uh, I, I must be missing something or just haven't fought enough, but this seems ridiculous. This just seems totally ridiculous. Hmm. <sighs> Nine descent. Need to finish this damn war. Governor. Earn me some money. One more turn before the second group's ready. I think it's one more turn until that uh, next guild is ready also. Arr. All right, I think we're done. Other than buying food that's really expensive. Jeez, I can only buy 10? Yeah, we're not going to make it this next turn. Yeesh. Doesn't matter how much of gold I have. There's no food to buy. Seems like we're at the point now, size-wise, and the swings are so big between winter and summer production... Well, everything is modified by this damn plague. Hopefully the numbers I'm seeing here indicate, no, that's, that's the fortification value shining through. Hopefully the plague is going to fade out here pretty soon. Well, there's no lead for a garrison after you control everything. The problem, or after you own everything, there's a difference between control and ownership. Currently I control most, almost all of Morator. But it's not my, my ownership yet. Until I can finish the war and take this last space, then everything converts over to mine. I have full ownership, and I will no longer have this descent problem. It'll fade back down, and it'll stop. But the longer I'm considered a in-progress conquering nation, uh, this continues. So it's gone on way too long, and my inability to finish this guy off is really starting to annoy me. <clears throat> that is just a bunch of silly. Um, but yeah, so the instant I finish this, all will, well, it won't all be good because we're going to all starve to death during the winter, but 
Uh, yeah, you know, lessons have been learned. But no, there's no need to garrison interior locations when you are in full ownership and control of the area. So... All right, uh, not much I can really do about this problem. I need to build more granaries, obviously, to increase our storage capacity in anticipation of these huge swings in our production capacity. We have a combination of the plague. Uh, I don't remember if it talks about yeah, events. So, Plague reduces production 5 to 25% at a location depending on the level of the plague. Plague spreads other locations. Some kingdoms are immune to the plague. So we've got the plague pretty much in our entire kingdom, lowering our production. And we have corruption lowering production. And we have descent lowering production. So my food production is probably astronomical without <laughs> these, these three layers of negatives just chopping big, huge chunks out of my production. So, you know, if I can stop the war, it'll help tremendously. If the plague would go away, it would help tremendously. The only thing that'll fix the corruption is building courthouses. Um, that's a consequence of having uh, 90 population with not enough courthouses to uh, assist with the bureaucracy of the empire. So, But the other two, either one, would go a long way towards helping me solve this um this imminent <laughs> mass starvation problem we're about to have. All right. I don't want to peace out. Well, I guess I could try to peace out, but that's, I'm not going to do that. I, I want it all. I've fought for it. I've bled for it and I'm about to starve for it. So I, I want it all. I'm not sure what would happen if I tried to peace out right now with him having this unit here. Hmm. Let's go see what it says. Diplomacy. Uh, morator. Offer cease war. The problem I think I would have is I don't know if that converts everything I control right now over to my full ownership. Hmm. Or six month peace offers to stop a current war and move the stance from enemy to loathing, allowing diplomacy once the screen is active. Yeah, that doesn't answer my question. Hmm. Do the rule book. I'm not going to get an answer. Hmm. Might have to do a save. Try it. See what it does. Hmm. At this point, I'm going to win next. I'm going to, I'm going to finish it next round anyway. So there's no way that stacks knock. Well, assuming it doesn't get decimated by starvation, there's no way that stacks going to, uh, Oh man, the stacks in the middle of a desert when there's not going to be any food available. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. All right. Well, I, yeah, I'm going to fight this one out. We'll do a learning exercise. Another 10. All right, uh, you there, and I think that's the last thing, right? No new heroes yet. Got the other governor going. No recruits. Yeah. Into the hard dungeon. 9% per character. Nope. So, I'm going to do this one manually. 
Alright, nothing new about those. So, 87 spawns in a large, hard location. So it should be a larger concentration of tougher monsters. Cool. It's a max crit. Three damage. They hit me for three. Then we hit for three. One, three, one. So I think just almost everybody hit. How are we doing for levels? Getting close to level seven. Halfway to nine. We'll probably hit uh, eight with this guy before we leave this time. That guy's got a little further to go. Nobody else is close. All right. Lascorcas, trolls, twisted aberrations. Yeah, that's some higher level stuff, all right. These guys are 17 melee, 12 strength. Six armor. That's definitely a higher power group. Ouch. now. Is there a way to play the current version of the game? Yes, the uh, the demo has been updated to this current build. So if you just go grab the current version of the demo out on Steam, you'll be playing the same build. I don't remember what the restrictions are on the demo version, if it's like a how many turns you're allowed to play or what it does, but it is up, updated to the current build. Yeah, this fight's a lot harder. This rate, I'm not sure I'll get another fight. Burn through an awful lot of healing getting through this one. Somebody needs to smash a Baskorka.
21. I'm nervous after that fight. I don't think I'm going to risk it till I get a little more experience in here. That one's a lot nicer. Got his level. <laughs> One gold. Oh boy. Hey, this is supposed to be fixed. <laughs> what the heck? Print screen. Yeah, we're not supposed to have 11. Sure am glad I didn't hit this fight when I only had 20 health. This has multiple problems. It's an awful lot of hits coming our way. An awful lot of chances of loading up on one guy and killing somebody in one round and or just spreading a bunch of crits around. But in addition, my retreat chance is lower when they outnumber me. So it makes it even harder for me to get out of this fight. Because uh, I have to kill so many before I'm going to have any real chance of retreating. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, no real change of the strategy here. There's not much I can do. Just hope we don't take a chain of bad hits. We only did three damage total that round. That's not good. A little better. We switch to kill the weak. Kill the weakened. We need to get two or three off of the list <laughs> as quick as possible. There's one. Two. Uh, one more time before we turn on the healing. That's better. Now we got it down to a manageable size. Time to turn on the healings fizz spigot. searches left.
Hidden pit, everybody's damaged, and a fight. Gotta love those. Um, I don't think I'm gonna turn on the double healer, or even a single healer yet. We'll go at least one round of fighting before we kick in the heals. Time to leave. Not bad. A little scary on that 11 one. So, everybody's eight, except for Adi, who is a replacement, so he started far behind. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh... Well, on that hilarious note, I'm going to uh, take a quick break, step away from the computer for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back to it. 
Uh, so this is the interesting part. We're going to starve. Just how bad is it going to be, especially with my <laughs> critical army in the desert about to starve? And this jackass who I can't kill, the immortal stack here, who no amount of strength over terrain advantage, cavalry advantage, no, no advantage is apparently able to kill this stupid group. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen. Oh, I am I am afraid of that food problem. That's going to be 130. And we used how much last time? 120. Maybe we'll get away with it. Let's find out. <clears throat> we starve. It's all my fault. <sighs> I just can't imagine how that's still there. All right. Hey, we actually had a surplus. Tiny, tiny surplus. Servants of Drail attempting to work some relations beer. <laughs> the cease war is over with Torsef. And uh, now the servants are going to try to declare war on me. Okay. Let's uh, peruse our kingdom. So no change is not coming. Oh, look at that move. Well, hi there. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Not going to change this. We've got to, we got to, we got to push this guy out of here this turn. If I don't push this guy out of here. Oh my God. That's going to be so bad. And we didn't manage it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, we took oh, one damage, one strength point loss to our knights. And that's it. We reduced the fortification level down to one. And we did some damage to that. But we did not force a retreat. Uh, yet another turn. This war has gone on far, far too long. Far too long. Mistakes were made. Now I got to worry about this guy coming across. What the hell am I going to do about that? <sighs> you guys keep running over this way. I was really, really hoping to finish this. I wasn't expecting this maneuver. I think I'm going to split this group and put a couple on each. So let's go the... Swordsman mm, and Militia. Militia here. Knights and the Archers there. Yeah, that's an interesting move. So the servants are up here. They've got a, they've got an army that's been wandering around down here, totally out of supply. And again, I don't know how they manage this. I sure the hell couldn't manage it. <laughs> My guys had starved to death and be gone long ago. But somehow this this group, whatever this is, has been kind of wandering around <laughs> in the southern area here. Hopefully it, uh, oh, it went from there this direction. So that's a servant's location now. Huh. Well, they haven't declared yet, but they're on the way. And Torsif is committed. Uh, I think I'm going to move the militia up to cover this. Next turn. I got no more troops moving forward except for the men at arms. You guys you're still sitting at nine descent. Yep, go there for the moment. I think that's it for army man stuff. We're heading into winter. 
Unfortunately, these guys are going to stay supplied and I can't afford to move my groups off of these locations. Hope somebody's selling food. Hey, it's much cheaper. Oh, thank goodness. I think that'll cover us for at least the next month. Nineteen for iron. Man, I really don't want to sell any. Hey, you guys, can I build a granary over here? I would like to build a granary over here. How about you? Would you like a granary? I don't have stone. 13 per. Nah, we better not do that either. We're getting closer to our morale and uh, our melee and ranged bonuses for the army. Still a long way from anything else. Oh, we got our hero. Oh no, not another administrator warrior. <laughs> I love it. All my warriors are administering my kingdoms and all of my armies are being led by adventurers. <laughs> uh. The adventurers, because they and the uh, wizard types level their leadership the fastest, because leadership is based on cleverness and int, and those two classes have that as their primary stat. So every time they level up, they're guaranteed to get a point in uh, int or cleverness. So they hit 15 leadership, which is the cap, very quickly, compared to all the other ones. And then I keep getting warriors with the administrator trait. <laughs> so I've got warriors... Being clerks in my kingdoms, and I've got uh, I got thieves being leaders of my my armies. Yeah, adventurers can go anywhere anytime they want. <clears throat> they are free of national boundaries. So I could have crossed the border here with my adventurers and run these these dungeons, for example. But um, certain actions can only be done when you're at war with the the nation that you have your adventurers in with. So I can't go and cite rebellions or things like that uh, with adventurers unless I'm at war. All right. Uh, so what am I going to do about this? I, I've got an adventurer administrating the three capitals, the main capitals, my home, heroines, and morators. Um, or do I? I can't remember now. Do I have one in Morator? I've got governing. That's the mine. That's my capital. Well, maybe I don't have Morator yet. Well, I don't have Morator yet. Um, but I need to leave a spot open for pulling somebody out of my B team. So the idea is my B team, I'm going to pull one of the wizard types out. So this guy, for example, is 14 leadership. This guy is 12. So if I hand him any kind of item that gives plus one to uh, int or cleverness, um, so six and eight is 14. That's where that number comes from. Then he'll be max leadership. You can't go higher than 15. So I want to pull him out and send him off to be a leader of one of my armies. Um, and then I'll stick a low level enchanter type in this group to level with the rest of the group. And this is just a feeder group. I'm just using it to keep heroes leveled up to feed into this group in case somebody dies here. So I don't have to stick a level one into a group with level eights. Um, I'll stick a level three or five or whatever. So he's a little more survivable with this group. They won't have to move down a dungeon ranking or something to, to keep him alive. Um, so I kind of got some competing things going on, but we got no wizard types this time. So I think I'm going to, 
I really think I need to focus on getting the leaders in the armies because we've got so many nations declaring war on us now. I'm going to have so many frontiers that I need to keep strong groups at. I think I've only got two army leaders out there currently. So, yeah, I'm going to not hire anybody this round. We'll wait for a wizard type, and then we'll we'll pull somebody out of this secondary group. Yeah, dungeon difficulty. So you, you go to locations with your heroes. So you do an option, an action uh, that checks for rumors, basically. They're talking to the populace to see if there's any strange going on in the area. That generates these little things, but you don't know what they are at first, and they could be false rumors. So you have to send a hero over to investigate it, and it'll either disappear because it's a false rumor, or a location will show up. And the level or the, the letter here indicates the difficulty. So extreme, hard, L is low. And uh, M is medium. So, yeah, there's a medium, there's a hard, and there's an extreme. And that one there is an L, a low. So, you do the low adventures first until you're at least level three or so, three or four. And then you can move up to mediums and, I don't know, five or six. You could probably move to hards. Um, it's just slow going to chew through the higher level stuff as you go. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a tactics bonus leader yet. I haven't looked every single turn because I knew I was capped, so I never bothered to look. But um, so we might have had some that went that appeared and went by. But when I was looking for leaders, I don't remember seeing a tactics bonus on anybody. All right, uh, so we're done with the national stuff. Yet another turn before we can finish this damn war. We got this guy complicating my life. I'm not sure if he'll be willing to take these fights. I just need these to delay a turn so I can finish this, and then I can turn the attention of both of these armies on him with a third army forming up, and then we'll we'll roll over to the uh, the west. Uh, his capital is way over here, so not too far if we launch off from Brinkhaven. Take that, and then just kind of roll down the road here. If I just took this and then demanded peace, hopefully we could get them off our back for a while because I'm still at war with these guys and now I got the servants they're going to be declaring on me and these guys are at war with me. I'm desperately afraid Warwick or somebody is going to also <laughs> declare the war. It's going to get messy real quick. So it's very much a case of, you know, eat or be eaten in this kind of a gameplay. And that's that's what it's designed to be. It's a fantasy kingdom warfare uh, thing. We're at turn 46 out of 180. So actually I haven't checked the uh, summaries. Uh, forces and victory. So if we look at victory, we are in the lead currently at 627. So we got a pretty sizable lead over the servants currently, but if they pull off any of the achievement things for victory points, we'll fall behind them quite a bit. They're the ones that are doing this corruption curse thing. Uh, their corruption curse is spreading across the land, lowering stability everywhere until somebody goes and kicks their ass. They're also trying to resurrect their dead god, which gives them a huge victory point bonus if they manage it. Um, but I don't know what... I, this is my first time actually playing so, the through, so and it takes quite a long time to actually play a full, full 180 turns, as you can see. So I don't know exactly when this might happen or how you can tell how close they are to doing it or anything like that. Um, but I need to go punch them in the face at some point. I mean, I'm almost four times their strength. So it's just a matter of their location and the uh, the difficult terrain up north and keeping my units fed if I try to go up there. But we're comfortably ahead of just about everybody currently. And if we can prosecute successfully a war against the two guys to my west, we'll be, we'll be really damn big. Um, but I don't yet know how to balance my economy with my territory and my, my resources and so on. So, so yeah, achievements here earns victory points. So adventurer owned 30 magic items. Gee, did I get that bonus? I assume I got that bonus. If I see the thing here, I think that's a new one. Was that in there before? He's added a few new uh, achievements. So I, I think that might be a new one. Destroyer, Villains, Corruption, Curses at 1,000. So we're at 145 currently. 
I don't see how that could hit a thousand unless the rate increases. Because we're, I mean, not quite a third of the way through. And yeah, we're not even at 25% of the way through. No, actually we are 25% of the way through. Yeah, I guess it might hit a thousand. I, I don't know what increases that, what he does that makes that accumulate faster. And then the good guys try to get the Apostle Victory, own all five Unity runes. But Mage attains a natural 15 intelligence. I mean, small numbers, but compared to the, what I'm getting victory-wise from all the uh, the, the conflict and, and winning fights and wars and so on is doing. So, that's what we're doing. It's... It's twofold. You want to have the most victory points at turn 180, and you want to make sure they don't do their thing. <laughs> Warwick is pretty big and starts strong, but it's an old nation, and they don't have... I forget, I forget the description of them. They don't have a lot of the infrastructure stuff that some of the other ones have to start with. They start out pretty big, but not that much bigger than we were. Um, but yeah, there's something about them that gives them kind of a negative handicap. But... They do seem to be like the default starting option. You can pick any nation you, to play you want, any anyone on the board, but I can guarantee you 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 can't actually expect to win with any of the smaller nations. You're going to get eaten, and there's nothing you can do about it. So I, I think the actual winnable nations are probably a, just a handful. Everybody else is just meat on the table to, to get eaten by their neighbors. All right. So far, other than the length of time it took me to finish off Morator, it's taking me much longer than I thought it was going to take. Uh, other than that, it, everything's been going pretty well. So I, I was hoping that I could finish the war to, against Morator and then come over and finish Ammonon. I thought Ammonon would have Cartier finally finished, but this has been in a just total stalemate <laughs> for like, it's turn 46. I think Ammonon declared war on like turn six. So <laughs> he's been fighting this war just totally, totally unsuccessfully for that entire time. And neither side apparently is sued for peace. And I just don't get how this place still isn't, is owned by Cartier. I mean, it's, it's had its fortification at zero for a very long time now. And he just never brings enough units over to finish the fight for some reason. So... All right, uh, I got to do my, my dungeon stuff. So these guys are going to the low dungeon. So we have a 0% fail. So it would probably take me the three turns to finish the dungeon. Oh, only 39 spawns. We must have gone in here before. No, we haven't been in here before. Why is it only 39 spawns? Uh, did it reset back to not long adventures? No, we have the camp option. That's weird. If I haven't been here before. Why is it only 39? Unless he changed the spawn count also in the difficulties. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's a small, it's a low dungeon. But previously we'd have twice that many of enemies at least. You, there, there's two different settings other than the low, medium, high, extreme. There's, which mostly is difficulty, uh, meaning the strength of the enemies you find inside. But the quantities of the enemies is largely controlled by an option you can turn on where you have long adventures versus standard, I guess, or short. It defaults to short. You have to actually turn on the long version. So it increases the amount of spawns and makes the dungeon areas you have to explore larger. But then you get this camp option, which lets you recover your healing ability and your searches. So you, without having to leave the dungeon, you just fight, fight, fight. And then when you figure your healing's down low enough that you might be in danger in the next fight, you camp. And that recovers all your healing points and your searches. And then you just continue. But you only have the camp option if you have the long adventures turned on. So I, it's still enabled. So he has made a few other adjustments 
Um, so maybe that's what's happening here. Or it's just a weirdly generated dungeon. But I'm just going to auto-do this one. Um, there's no sense in me spending real world, real world, time, ugh, real world time doing it. Ugh, well, what is there? <laughs> We've got... These guys are only three and four with a couple of fives. And we have 36 healing. I think it would take me at least three turns. It'd probably take me two turns, but I, I don't want to spend the real world time on it. So I'm just going to say, finish it automatically. So everybody gained a level. They're in three turn recovery time. Uh, we got some gold, some shards, but we got no magic items. And they're going to Springton. So, yeah, they headed up there for their rest and relaxation time. All right. These guys are still working on this one. 53 to go. And we, I don't think we found the boss room. I also have yet to see, in the documentation, it says there are dungeons where you have to find keys to get into certain areas. I haven't seen a single instance of that yet. So I don't know if that's only in the extreme dungeons or, or what. All right, uh, so we finished north. Let's go east. Not too bad. Oh, well, that's rude. A whole lot of bashing going on. Hey, now. It's being weirdly difficult. I'm starting to get a little worried here. <laughs> What's going on? All of a sudden, we're getting trashed and we're not doing any damage. I don't like sudden weird difficulty spikes. I mean, almost. Uh, we're down four, five, ten... 12 damage, I can heal 6, but it's going to pick 2 people, and that's going to leave, if it, it should pick him, because he's down 4, he's down 5, but that's going to leave, eh, the others are at 9, as long as it picks these 2, we should be okay, but it depends on how much more incoming damage we get, and we're, we're down a outgoing damage option. Let's switch these guys to kill the weak. Crap! Why? That's a terrible choice. <laughs> Come on now. You would better heal these two and not him. Oh my god. <laughs> or, you know, just don't heal. What the hell was that nonsense? One of these guys didn't heal. <sighs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting a little worried here. I'm getting a lot worried. They're uh, if they're not going to heal. The only thing I can think of is they somehow both got tagged to heal the same character, and you're only allowed to have one person heal, or you're only allowed to have a person get healed once. So you can't double team heals on somebody. But if that's the case, let's see. Give me a second.
All right, sorry, I was typing a bunch to the uh, dev about that heal thing. That That's definitely going to be a problem. We're in uh, somebody dying range here. That better not happen again. I think... Again, one heal. What the hell? Erg. What the hell, guys? Finally. Didn't heal the guy at six, though. I'm just guessing that that's what's occurring is that they're both targeting the same person that's lowest or maximum damage from their max uh, or farthest from their max. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the footage to see if in those cases a particular character had the most damage uh, or total damage and so they were both targeting the same one um, as opposed to when we have an equal amount on multiple guys, they can they can pick different targets. I don't know, but that, that's my guess. That's the only thing I know of that would cause something like that. For example, if I only have one character wounded and I tell them both to heal, only one will go off. That I know about, then I'm fine with that. But something that that was that was tense. That was too close. And we're going to be low enough that I'm not going to be willing to take another fight. Alright. So. I assume my, my druid made it to seven finally. There's only one level back. Quite a bit of XP, but only one level back now. Search and uh, search and camp. Okay, I hope this one goes a little better. Well, that was not better. <laughs> that was terrible. Druid and my blocking warrior, huh? All of a sudden, the fights seem harder for some reason. I'm not sure why.
going to be lucky to get two fights per trip. Maybe three. Not good. Thirty-seven, we gotta press on. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, ouch. Whoa! I I hate ten enemy fights. Um, gotta turn you to heal. This is gonna be a non-round for us. Then we're gonna have to try to play catch up. Man, we got out of that pretty, pretty, uh, light. Now I'm back to being afraid. <laughs> that is a lot of bashing going on. We are in death range on both of these guys this round. killed one and the others aren't even close to being anybody close to being dead yet oh my goodness this is not looking good Nineteen heals left, which I think eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eight, yeah. Just getting the party healed is gonna completely drain that. Oh, we're out. <laughs> we're out. Just keep trying to retreat every turn. That was looking really bad. Oof. <laughs> Alright, we have flawlessly executed a brave Sir Robin maneuver. Uh okay. Yeah, that was scary. I don't know why that, that particular run in there kicked my ass. Uh, several of those fights were just really bad. Getting triple stunned. 
having my main blocker and my healers constantly stunned. Oh yeah, the, the dungeon, you can keep returning to it as often as you like until you've killed everything in the dungeon and then it disappears. It's possible for, for heroes from other nations to come into your area and finish the dungeons off. So, you know, if your dungeons are disappearing for some reason, <laughs> you've got, you got heroes from another nation coming in and finishing them for you. But yeah, as long as you make it out, you can return. Well, I mean, if you die, you can return, but I just kept trying to retreat every round until we got a successful roll. I had to get a few of them killed in order to improve our chances to retreat. Uh, but thank God we got out of there. That was nasty. So that fight will have the same number of enemies at that particular spot. Uh, I believe they heal back to full, but the ones we killed will still be killed, I think. So we'll give it another go next round. But yeah, that one was that one was rough. Okay. Um it's gonna be an interesting round. What is he gonna do? Are we going to starve? And uh, I think we won't starve, which will give me the time I need, hopefully, to finish this. It's going to come down to, does he actually try to attack one of my locations? Not worried about this guy anymore. And does he try to come across the border anywhere else before I can reorganize? Let's find out. <laughs> so much fail. Yeah. The problem being you're also asking for a more complicated game. When you when you're asking for more magic East high fantasy type stuff with different kinds of spells and all that. Uh, believe me, I understand the the wish, but it ups the complexity and the balancing requirements significantly when you start getting into that stuff. I also would love that, but uh, I can understand why it's a bit out of scope. All right, so 14 surplus. <laughs> we are in winter. We got uh, like four more turns where we're going to have winter effects, though, so we do need to solve this problem. Um, scent is at revolt minus 90%. Yeah. So what happened over here? Oh, he ran down and took that one. What the hell? Uh, I had one not covered. <laughs> Computer really, really likes to rush the uncovered stuff. Hey, he's down to a single. One single spot. Get out of here. All right. He's done. Mine. You're done. Now, I need to go deal with that guy. So, man at arms is coming across. Um, I can't leave this uncovered, but we can take. Those two. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hello. What's he gonna do? These will disappear next round. Problem is, I gotta leave somebody up here, otherwise he's gonna just step down into my territory because we're still at war with him. Maybe I'll sue for peace with Yanadi. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I'm worried about having too small a force out here. He might be inclined to go smush it. But if I'm going to hit him next turn, I need to have units in there to get be effective. I uh, could. Uh, I can't move them one forward. And I could if I left the archers behind. He might still take the fight, but that'll slow him down at least. <clears throat> That's the main goal, just until I make this go away. Let's, uh, let's come over here for a second. Hey, diplomacy, somebody sending me offers? Hey, it's Yanadi. <laughs> well, that's handy. All right, so I don't have that worry now. So that means I can concentrate to the south. That's guaranteed peace for a bit of time. They'll go away. I can immediately move my primary army group back towards the south. We'll just delay because I don't think I'll be able to kill these guys. They're too strong. Yeah, full strength. Light cav. So it'll take me some time to smush this group. Um... So, two, we're moving there to get that covered up. Still got both groups hanging around down here, but he won't be able to supply them without getting me out of these two locations. So we can't afford to push north unless he's willing to try to hit me in these fortified locations with pretty strong armies. So I don't think anything's going to happen there. It'll be the last turn. I have to worry about those guys. I don't think he'll be able to get past me to get to here through the mountains. Maybe he can. That's a trade I'm willing to make to strengthen the group here. It's going to be kind of cut off pretty quick. He's either going to have to camp in here while I push him out. As soon as he leaves, he won't be able to get supply. Unless he hops on another location. Which doesn't gain him much. I chase him down. All right. Uh, that's it for the army man stuff. Economy. Bye bye. Eesh. Sell, sell, sell. Whoops. God damn it. <laughs> I just threw away a bunch of money there. My bad. Thirty-four. I think that'll be enough, especially if we can get the war ended. Let's hope that's enough. Uh, so done here. No. Oops. Yeah. No. One idle alchemist. Let's go there. Kick that up to six until we get that finished. Oh, yeah, heroes. Hey, look, we got an adventurer. Um, I mean, he would also work to level up for a, an army hero.
Sure. Get him recruited and we'll send him. Actually, he's he needs to go over to uh, where these guys are going to be. I need to get some more um, more rumors generated. It's what I need. Gather rumors and go over here and gather more rumors. And then go out and look at the rumors. All right, I guess I could investigate the rumors and come back and go into the dungeon. Actually, I wouldn't be able to if it's a location. Let's, yeah, let's just go in the dungeon. Back into the scary place. All right, back to that same fight. Oof, still eight left. Okay. Not another one like that, please. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, 26 spawns remaining. 10, uh, 8, and 8. <laughs> 10, 10, and 6. Uh, yuck. Heal something, please. Ouch, Quint. Hit for three, hit for one.
going to run out of healing again. <laughs> so much bashing. Ugh. Well, yeesh. And 11, come on. A dimensional portal. Uh, 16 enemies remaining, and they put 11 in this room, including I would I assume is the boss. What the hell are you? 26 melee rating, 25 defense. The dark metal floating ring hums above the floor of the room. Blackness can be seen within its gape. Reaching out from the darkness are tentacles, reaching and grasping what it can find. The faint voices can be heard from the portal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Including uh, my loved Baskorkas. Hate those guys. So many bashes coming in. I think this is going to be one where I'm going to try to hope to kill one or two and then just I'm going to be hitting retreat <laughs> every single round and hope we get out of here without somebody dying and then just come back in each time and chip away at one or two until we get it down to a manageable number. What the fuck was that? Dimensional portal hits all heroes for two damage. <laughs> oh, we are so out of here. Holy crap. Uh, if he's going to hit everybody for two damage every round, I have no chance of winning this. None. Zero. We're going to have a full party wipe. Everybody got hit for one that time. Oh my god. At least let me get one or two kills on my way out of here. I'm going to have to leave both clerics on permanent healing. Kill something. Kill one or two. Let's see. You guys need to go on kill something mode. Still need to keep on double healing. Switch you back to defense. Now well, we got one down. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with getting out of there. <laughs> so there's ten left there, meaning there's five remaining somewhere else. We're gonna go kill the five, then we'll pop out, and we'll we'll come back and we'll try this again next round. Phew. Uh, that's by far the scariest fight I've seen with the all heroes get hit guy. Combined with there being 11, which is not supposed to be 11 to begin with. 
That's an error that he has yet to fix. It's supposed to max at 10. Um, but yeah, that's that's by far the scariest fight I've seen. How come we did not auto-heal? Hmm. Uh, we're down quite a few hit points. I go into a fight down that much. We've, we've got a lot for only five enemies left. I think we'll be okay. That's... That's it, really? I still got two sections to go to, which seems weird, unless they immediately dead end. Alright, uh, so stay on double healing, stay on block. Mm, one more round. We better get a pretty good magic item out of that room. Alright, I'm not going back into that fight with 22. I've got two searches left. Okay. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Thank God the retreat worked. I mean, the dev is talking that he's going to cap the levels at 10, and I still have to go to an extreme dungeon. So, I mean, a party of eights should be more than enough to handle a hard dungeon. I mean, removing one of the enemies would be helpful, so it's not 11. But beyond that, that's still a uh, fairly tough, fairly tough fight. It can be done. I just got to be really careful about it like we were here. Knock out one or two guys if you can, retreat. Knock out one or two guys if you can, retreat, and it'll get more manageable. So. All right. Um, so this should be the final turn for Morator. <coughs> Question is, what is he going to do? Is he going to go after one of my stacks? Is he going to try to end run me to another location? Is he going to join these guys up and come across the border here? So many possibilities. All right, we came through with 13 food, still no starvation, and servants of war, declare, servants of Drail declared war. Big surprise. I didn't get a message about Mortor being finished. They, they are, their, their units disappeared. Did I not see the message? <laughs> huh. Oh, they're not. Are you kidding me? Is he keeping him in the game? Because that would be really, really damn annoying. 
Because now I got this guy coming over to my back area where I've got no units. Oh my god, I'm going to get so annoyed. <laughs> I'm going to get so annoyed. I am going to rage against the machine here pretty quick. Well, I don't have the strength to move them out. Oh my god, this is annoying. And again, it's a tiny unit I can't catch, and he's just going to have free roam back here, and he'll own territory, and I won't be able to finish the war again. I really don't like the chase the tiny unit for 10 turns to end a war problem. I hate it in every single war game I've ever played, where you are forced to do this micromanagey chasing something around, or scanning through a huge map trying to find one stupid unit that's hiding in a corner. <laughs> I hate that so much. But he's somehow still in. And the only way that's possible that I can see is uh, that stupid place being held by this guy with a large army that's going to take me multiple turns to get rid of. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, my God. Oh, Rebellion. That's what did it. It's not this guy. Rebellions took these back, apparently. When I wasn't... Lo I, I, I didn't notice that the Rebellions finally kicked off. So, yeah, you're correct. That's what's happening. As I griped and griped and griped about how long it was taking me to finish the stupid war, now the thing that I worried about happened. <laughs> and... Some of these flip back to the original owner, so he does now have units, and I've got nobody nearby to go take them back. All I'd have to do is step a unit onto him, but <laughs> I've completely depopulated the area. And now there's probably going to be a few others that'll start flipping because of how long this has taken. Looks like this has been separated out as well for some reason, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know what's going on. Uh, apparently quite far. Even uh, through, well, I don't know if he was in the desert. He was in the desert, I think. I think this was his starting position. It might have been here. But, um, you know, Cav can move pretty far. My cab's not going to make it. Ah, oh, this is... <laughs> uh... Can't get to the other one. need to get out of here and back south, but I can't leave this one open, so I'd have to leave one of my good units behind. So I gotta do that. Pray he doesn't have enough movement points to bring that unit back.
I'll leave that alone for the moment. If I could reinforce that. So many false rumors, and we're out of points to explore it. It's us back to 30. We're just barely eking through. We're in midwinter now. One to go. All right, back into the scary place. See if we can get somebody killed or the whole party. So, uh, what? <laughs> Did you and you and you, I mean, what? <laughs> I, I don't think this actually landed. So, one damage, two damage. Huh. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure what happened there. If we get to resist some of that, I've never seen that before. Well, you've got to go on that mode. We need to make sure something dies each trip. We can. Create that turn. Ouch. Emmerk got a crit on him. Now I fear they're both going to try to heal Emmerich because he's eight down. And nobody else will get a heal and somebody will die. Uh, I'm getting behind on the heals. I'm worried. Ooh. 
Oof. Door is down to four. All right, I got to think about possibly bailing now. We got it down to six, so we made some progress. Um, if they do heal, it'll be seven, and uh, hopefully, the, uh, maybe, try one more. Oh, please kill that Biscorka. Anyone to play Kingdom Dungeon Hero yet? Uh, via the demo. It has been updated to the current build. So if you just grab the demo off of Steam. Otherwise, full game releases in July. It'll just be the demo between now and then. So they stayed in their wounded state. So that's interesting. If I leave the dungeon, they get healed, but if I stay in camp and come back, they stay in their current hit points, which is going to be very beneficial. Everybody go after them. I think now nah, we better keep blocking. For good reason. <laughs> back to healing, please. Come on, Igor. <laughs> if I lose somebody at this point. Kill that stupid thing. We haven't done a single point of damage to this at any stage. Uh, let's see, six. I need to do at least one or two more rounds of uh, double healing. Holy crap, this is going to be tough. 26 melee and 25 defense. Only two resistance. All right, let's uh, do a couple of rounds of attempting to Spellbond. I bet you it's not going to work, even with him having only two resistance. Oh, we actually got the Spellbind on him. That'll give me at least one round of extra healing to done. But I'm, not, I'm still not sure I can make it. This guy is just so hard to put damage on. That was a little better. Magic attack for three. All right, now he's back to hitting me, though. So 
Do I need to block? He's doing the hit all, so I don't really need to block. I need to stay on melee. No damage. Uh-oh. Come on, Igor. Come on, Igor. <laughs> Crap. Uh, if he gets hit by all, he better receive a heal. I'll be really annoyed if he doesn't receive a heal. Yeah, I'm not sure I can finish this guy. It, uh, even if I leave, he's back to full strength again. I mean, at least I'll get to start with offset full strength also, but assuming I get out. But I'm getting worried. So close. Almost out of healing. One hit point left. Man, that is a tough fight. Guarding gloves. Oh. I forgot to look how much XP he was worth. Oh well. So... Plus four cleverness, plus six armor, minus intelligence and conviction. So, you know. Ugh. Not a cleric, not a healer. Cleverness four, armor six. And a middle slot. Just about everybody here has got the middle slot filled currently. Probably Emmerich. Given up plus ones and everything, which is fine. I'd rather have the plus six armor. Since he's my primary blocker, I think that's going to be more important. Twenty two melee defense. Eleven more gold. Oh, and a Magnus ring. <laughs> I was trying to move and I had no move options and I look up. Oh, look. Five intelligence and two armor. I, I think this is the first time I've gotten two items. So, wizard, Tarmf. This is a lower slot. Oops, he's already gotten an int four item down there. In four armor two. This is in five armor two, so it is technically better. But the enchanter is sitting on re intelligence to conviction. Don't care about the conviction, so two intelligence bonus plus some armor to help protect him. Yeah. All right, now we're done. No secret doors. All right, done with heroey stuff. have to hope next round he does not get to another city <laughs> here or here and I can step on that and nothing else goes in rebellion in between that so uh, so annoying we're up to minus three 
What the? What was that? Hey, he actually he actually attacked. Interesting. I'll have to go look at that fight. Inadequate amount of food to support our people and armies. We have a surplus of six food for next month. <laughs> yeah, I know. Revolt 100%. Revolt 100%. Did I lose two more places? Where did he go? Still sitting there? The knights are gone? Did the knights finally starve to death? He's down to six archers. Uh, how do you have six archers in that group? And he split his group. Terrible idea. And he moved another big group up. Yeah, this is getting ugly. All right, you go step on that. Uh, that one also shifted. Oh, the capital went back. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I just can't win. I just can't win. This is so ridiculous. He took the fight here. Fortification bonus, cover bonus, drained versus veteran. He lost three units. I lost none, but he did lower the defenses one. Oh, no. Fails to overcome the defense. And we've got equal leaders. Hmm. Fighting in the cold. Well, I got him pretty good on the first attack. Hmm. Sense him diluting this ad or changing this arrangement. Just debating, do I want to try to take the city or... Probably smash this guy. Problem is, he's, he's going to be loose in my, my back area again as well. Uh, so messy. Uh, 
This sucks. Well, assuming you have the resources, it depends on the unit. It can vary from one to four turns to produce something. Armored Knights take four, Militia takes one, but I am capped by resource availability and I'm already on the edge of starvation. Making more units is going to exacerbate the problem until I get that under control, which is really down to me, you know, finishing this goddamn war with Morator that's gone on three times longer than it should have and, um, you know, not being, having my entire kingdom plagued and... <laughs> <laughs> not being attacked by four different countries simultaneously and you know, all sorts of stuff. Not having to chase down useless units in my back area that are faster than my pursuing units so I can't catch them. And it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Big mess that's just spiraling. So now I've got another group I can't really seem to get rid of. Just trying to get somebody covering all the local places. He won't have supply now. Unless he can take something. Which he might be able to do. I don't have a ton of strength in any particular location, but... He might be able to go up here and push these guys out. <clears throat> but the fortification will help a little bit, and it'll concentrate him. I hit this one pretty good. They might pull back. I can just crush these two armies. He's he's basically done if I can get the Morator thing finished and then just roll a couple of armies his direction. I can roll up all of these lower areas fairly easy. So I think that's about the best outcome I could have gotten right there. You guys are just going to have to hold out. I think I might build a fort level up here, though. More stone, huh? Seven more stone. Stone, bye, bye. That fortification up to five. Hopefully they don't change the direction because I weakened this to send units out this way to try to cover areas that are rebelling constantly. I don't think I'm missing any. So maybe Morator will finally be finished. I don't know if it does the rebellion stuff before it does the, hey, you have no locations, you're therefore out of the game thing. I really need it to be over. And we're really low on food again. So I'm going to buy food or what. Not sure it's going to be enough. All right, you check out this dungeon, another hard. Oh, that's funny. Now, now because I did that, I can't move him so that they can step in and start that dungeon. <laughs> uh, well, they're going to get a turn of rest, I guess. No sense in moving them. 
It won't let me move on top of him. Yeah, I don't know what happened over here. There were two army groups constantly fighting this location for the last, I don't know how long. And then all of a sudden I saw a couple of hero units and this is then what the thing looks like <laughs> when the turn sequencing is done. So that's weird. Oh crap. Warwick's coming down into the fight. Uh, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. Oh well. Yep. Warwick's coming after him. Allies with Warwick. Really, Aminon? Really? <laughs> You're going to have Warwick come down and help you? That's ridiculous. Have a war with Warwick and not at war. Now they're, they're at war with Ammonon also. This, this listing is weird. It doesn't sometimes show everything. Yeah, it's not showing they're at war. Weird. All right, odd stuff is going on. I wonder if that's what happened. Warwick de or Ammonon declared peace, which punted their units out. And I don't think their heroes couldn't had to leave, but they'd left their heroes visible so I could see them for a second. Um, and now Warwick's going to come down and gobble up Cartier, which is unfortunate because I was hoping to do that. But Ammonon failing to conquer Cartier in 40 turns or 50 turns, whatever we're up to now. He declared war on like turn four. Four or five, so he's had forever to do it. And he failed. Alright, so that means this turn is a little easier or faster. Hey there, Morator. <laughs> they want to cease war. Screw you, buddy. Laura Clang wants to cease war. So they got nothing accomplished. I'm gonna say yes to this one. That's these guys here. So, yeah, they get punted out of my territory and I get to see their hero stack. <laughs> They've got a full stack here. Doing stuff in my territory, you sneaky guys. I've been intending to send my low group over that way. But now we've just got these guys to deal with. And I guess, uh, actually, I think Yanadi's declared peace. Hmm. Nope, screw you, Mortor. Well, we hit it, but we got to go one more before we get the bonus, apparently. Yeah, it'll be available next turn. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to try to do anything else. We're going to pray that, um, the turn sequencing blesses us with an end to the Morator War. And we'll see what this guy does. Now I've not played Deity Empires. Yay! Oh my god, that took so long. I thought we had it pretty in, under pretty good control initially, but... Ugh. Next time, I'll probably do the bite off the important part, get peace as quick as I can, consolidate, and then once the cease... Or the peace... <laughs> Dunati has gone to war, and Thol Barony has gone to war. And Aura Clang, who immediately the turn before asked for peace, is now instigating to go to war. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man. So, 128 produced this time. We ended with 28 surplus. Uh, the listing is a lot less because now we don't have that huge listing of uh, things rebelling. So now all the rebellion crap is done. So we're getting an increase in our production. He moved the... Oh, he moved that group all the way out that way. Tried to take that but failed, but reduced the fortification level. Oh, weird. That guy came in. That guy, does he have three stacks? That is quite the movement rate. Quite the movement rate. All right. Well, currently, that means we're down to, hey, why are you still rebelling? <laughs> you're, you're part of my empire now. You don't need to be doing that stuff. Um, We should be able to smash that pretty good, I think, with our power advantage and our cavalry advantage. If we can get him to, to retreat, we'll run over a whole bunch of his units, and then he'll probably pull that stack back. Then I can bring this guy across. And I need to get this organized into a better single stack to chase these guys out from this side. So, knight, archer, swordsman, 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 men at arms. And it'll be knight, man at arms. I'll leave a swordsman behind. We'll, we'll bring the archer too. All right, I, th I think we've got enough strength in place to deal with this, and we've got at least a short period of time before they're going to be allowed to break the ceasefire. And I've got enough strength down there, as we've seen, to hold that, so I can concentrate on uh, smashing Torsif next. I'm starting to get nervous about having nothing on my eastern frontier, and we're now going to have a border with Warwick, which worries me quite a bit. They're the other major power, really. Yeah. Although we now also have a, a border with the full barony. So they took out Yarrick. Oh, Yanati, that is. There's still Yanati here, but they took this out. Eight pop, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of units and I have to start shifting around and we've got all of our heroes available. We'll have him. The original plan was to have him join that group and then send one of these guys up to be a army commander. I'll probably check for, um, we'll spend the turn gathering, uh, rumors then we'll send that group down and swap him out. Minus three. Yeah, we got to start getting working on. I either need to go stomp these guys, which means I'm going to have to dig through a bunch of weird <laughs> politics and countries to get up to them. Uh, or start getting the curse corruption things built. Takes a lot of resources. Jumped further ahead, 747. Just how many, uh, how many units has stupid Ammonon lost now? 128. Footman, 72 cav. Ooh, 200 strength points, which I think is, what, my entire army right now? Whoa. Oh, and Cardier's lost 260 somehow. Somehow they have enough resources to keep producing strength points constantly. And Warwick, with all its warring, has only lost that. That is crazy. That is crazy. 
How has he managed that? I mean, he did start with pretty much all of this territory. So he's only, it's, I, I don't know how much fighting he's actually done. Oof, I'd love to get in here. Well, yeah, we'll see. All right. Um, I think before I actually do any of this turn stuff, this is a good spot to stop for now. Off to X6. Saved. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, more Kingdom Dungeon Hero. So it was really, really squeaky fights with uh, too many enemies <laughs> and one that does AoE damage was a little scary. And then um, more Torah took way, way, way too long. Way too long. Um, so we'll, we'll learn from that experience. But for a while there, I literally had all the more tour nonsense plus my entire empire under plague plus my entire empire or half my empire rebelling plus a war with like four different neighbors plus all the corruption. <laughs> it's just, ugh, ugh. Hopefully we can clean up some of this stuff, get some, uh, important army groups beefed up and defenses built and uh, pick our next fight, which is going to be Torsif to the west. But, yeah, we'll see what we can do. And uh, we'll try to pursue the next uh, conquest a little more cleanly. So uh, that'll be in the future, though. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, might catch you a little bit later. Uh, we will see. Uh, but definitely be streaming tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Stay safe out there.